Only a few things can be imagined. Iron is one, aluminium is not. But if you pass a current through any metal, it becomes a magnet, an electromagnet. Ever thought how this electromagnet works? Well, if not, it's a consequence of spatial. Picture a silver wire. It consists of protons and electrons. Now, since the total number of electrons are equal to the total number of protons, so we can arrange it in this format. Here, the net protons or positive electrostatic force is equal to the negative electrostatic force. This cancels each other out and still the wire is neutral. But now imagine an ion, a positive ion, a so-called cation. This kitty is just resting near the wire. But now let's pass some current through it. I mean the wire. Electrons start to move and from my frame of reference, the wire is still neutral. So, no force on the kitty. But let's see from her frame of reference. Oh, both you and kitty are refreshed. So, you have the same reference frame. Now, you might say, the kitty is at rest and the electrons are moving. So, according to special relativity and length contraction, electrons are moving and hence closer. So, there is more negative electrostatic force and so the kitty must be attracted towards the wire. Then, why doesn't it happen? Well, I'll tell you why. Ever heard about Heisenberg's uncertainty principle? Well, if not, it states, The more precise you measure the position of any object, the less precise you are about its momentum and vice versa. This is a complex way of saying a simple thing. Nothing can ever be at absolute rest. Obviously, at an absolute zero. But yeah, it is even an absolutely impossible idea. So getting back where we live. Hmm, the cation would be oscillating if we say it is at rest. That means that in one flow, for the cat or the cation, electrons will be moving. But in the reverse path, obviously, the reverse would happen. So this cancels each other out and the net move forward from the kitty. But now let's change the perspective. Now the cat or the cation is moving at the speed of electron, the simplicity. Let's see the world from kitty's reference frame. For the kitty, the electrons are the one to be at rest, while the protons are passing nearby. Whoa, passing nearby, meaning again, length contraction on the move. What can you infer from the word moving? It simply means that a proton are contracted. Whoa, more contraction from proton side, but not the same for the electron, meaning imbalance. Here at this point, let's pause the world and see the number of protons for every electron. It's not the same. If we come out and see from our reference frame, there shouldn't be any force on the kitty. But from her reference frame, she somehow rebelled, and this seems truly mysterious to me. Then, how do we account for this force? Well, strangely enough, we call it a familiar electromagnetic force. So let's change your perspective and then maybe the whole world will change for you. And then you can change the whole world.